Starting out the day with a Honduran baleada. And pretty much wherever you eat in the West End, you're gonna have a view of the ocean. I headed to the upper deck of Callaloo's grocery store. Flour tortilla, beans and cheese for a buck. After breakfast, I hopped back on my mechanical stallion and headed out on the open road. I found a building resembling a lighthouse and decided to go in it. The owner said it's free to come check out the view, but he'd love it if you bought a beer or a soda. After a couple flights of stairs, you come to this. Birds were flying everywhere. Speaking of wildlife, let's head over to Victor's Monkey Business. So I just found out five minutes down the road from where I'm staying is a sloth sanctuary. I'm gonna go hold some baby sloths. Woohoo! If you can't tell, I really like my scooter. And I really like sloths. This is gonna be great. For 10 bucks at Victor's Monkey Business, you get to hold the sloths. And yes, they are just as cute and cuddly as you've always imagined. This is Betty the Sloth. Contrary to what I've been told, she didn't smell and her fur was really soft. I stole a kiss, but Betty wasn't interested. I think she was a bit distracted by the beautiful sloths she saw in the reflection of my camera lens. Check out those claws. It's a good thing Betty can only move about zero miles per hour, or I'd probably be buying a new camera. The staff told me the babies were too young to let the public handle them, but I had a great time with Betty. And in case you're wondering, they eat the trumpet leaf and eucalyptus. And yeah, they look damn cute while they do it. Oh yeah, for that 10 bucks, you also get access to all the other animals. Meet Pablo. He's seven and a half and he likes sunflower seeds. Pablo's my new best friend. Looking back on it, he was probably just using me to get to the treats. But I don't blame you, Pablo. I'd probably do the same thing. These guys are the yellow and black beak toucan. And they can live to be over 60 years old. This is Dora, and she's asleep because they're nocturnal. Kinkajous like to sleep all day long. We must have some distant relatives in common. This guy is Diego. He's smelling my head. <laughs> He's probably smelling the monkey that was just on me. Macaw. I've never been able to get this close to any of these animals. It was awesome. I've always wanted to be a pirate. This is probably the closest I'm going to get. Mary, the Amazon parrot. My name is Dean, the iguana that you guys saw that he just filmed over there. That's one of our number one delicacies food here. And it tastes like conch meat, not like chicken. That's right. If it really tastes like a conch shell, I'd be willing to give it a try. But these ones aren't big enough. And they're not for eating. They're going to live long, healthy lives. We couldn't go inside to pet the deer because their babies were only three weeks old. Cute little Bambies. Victor's Monkey Business is also known for their awesome zip lines. I don't have time for it today, but if you want to do it, it's an additional 35 bucks. To watch the full episode of Dirt Cheap with Chaz Bruns, click the link below.